समग्र शिक्षा सिद्धिपेट प्रेजेंस माय इंग्लिश वर्ल्ड क्लास फोर यूनिट सेवन पेज एटी सेवन टू एटी नाइन ए रीडिंग द बॉय एंड द कैटपल्ट पेज एटी सेवन द ऑर्डस्ट फेलो इन माय क्लास वाज बोधराज ही हॉलवेज had a catapult in his hand he was an excellent shooter he would stand under a tree take aim and shoot a pebble from the catapult the next moment a bird would fall down i lived with my parents in an old bungalow on the outskirts of the city being far from the city my friends rarely came to visit me but bodhraj found it a good place to hunt behind the house there was a go down this room had become a regular place of visits for birds we hear their cooing all day the next time bodhraj came he went straight to the go down as usual he had his catapult with him he noticed that near the ventilator there was a minas nest the minas little ones are up there said bodhraj aiming with his catapult i noticed two tiny yellow beaks peeping out of the nest bodhraj raised his catapult and fitted a pebble in it i wanted to stop him suddenly a uh, page 89 large shadow moved across the room blocking the light from the ventilator it was a big kite this must be the kite's nest i said no a kite always makes its nest in a tree this is a minas nest the chicks began fluttering their wings and shrieking the kite perched on the beam the birds frightened cries filled the air the kite has been coming here every day for his meals said bodhraj suddenly bodhraj raised his catapult and aimed at the kite don't hit the kite it will attack you i shouted but bodhraj paid no attention the pebble missed the kite and hit the ceiling instead the kite spread its wings wide and peered down let's get out of here or the kite will attack i said frightened the kite will eat up the little ones this sounded rather strange coming from him bodhraj quickly ran and pulled a table standing against the wall to the place under the minas nest he climbed on the table gently lifted the nest and slowly stepped down let's get out of here he said and ran towards the door i followed page 89 we went into the garage it had only one door and a small window in the back wall a beam ran across its width He climbed on a box 
and placed the nest on the beam. The miners, young ones, had quietened down. Standing on the box, both Raj peeped into the nest. I thought that he would pick them up, but he said, "Get some water. The chicks are thirsty." I brought a glass of water. Both Raj fed them with drops of water. When Both Raj came the next day. He had neither the catapult nor pebbles. He carried some seeds with him. We fed the miners, young ones, and spent time watching them.